Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three sweet treats from Trader Joe's. Uh, these are the PB&C Snack Duo. I have the dark chocolate covered cherries and the English toffee with milk chocolate. So let me give you the prices. The toffee was $3.69, the cherries were $5.49, and the peanut butter was $3.99. Uh, so, and I think the, the cherries and the toffee have been around for a while. We just have never tried them before, so I wanted to try them. They look good to me. I think these are pretty new. Uh, the PB and C. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and give you one of these so you can be opening it. This is exactly what I expected. Um, it's like those snack pack things. Mm -hmm. um, little, uh, yeah. Little things. The, the wafers. wafers. Uh, it says crispy cocoa cream filled wafer. Oh, okay. Crispy cocoa cream filled wafer sticks with peanut butter dip. So the peanut butter comes down at the dip. And the, the sticks are filled with cocoa. Yeah, peanut butter and cocoa for the very definition of a winning combination. Delightfully sweet and subtly savory. They pair perfectly together to create these decidedly dunkable anytime snacks. Each pack contains crisp baton-shaped wafer sticks filled with sweet cocoa cream ready to be plunged into a lightly salted peanut butter dip. Did we just hear someone shout cannonball? Uh, one pack is 310 calories. These are a product of grease. You're gonna be double dipping too, so just let you know. I like that they thought out the, the packaging. They give you a little dip, a dip in there where you can get your finger in there. I just tried the stick mm -hmm. and it's delicious. It is good. But the peanut butter is good. Too. I could eat like forty of those. I'm not even kidding you. It is a, uh, it's a nice chocolate on the inside. It's, um, it leaves you. The actual wafer is really crisp, but it's not hard, mm -hmm. and it leaves you with a darker chocolate flavor. But I, I, I like it. And they're filled with like this kind of a dense, almost like chocolate in the middle of it. But it's over the top when you put the peanut butter on. It's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's really good. You know what I like about those? Not, not only is the wafer good and crisp and it, it has a good flavor, the peanut butter actually tastes good. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter actually has a nice, sweet, salty peanut butter flavor. I love the texture of it. Mm -hmm. what, I like the texture of the wafer alone. Okay, so the wafer alone is really freaking good. But then, you add that creamy peanut butter to mm -hmm. that crisp wafer and then you go to bite down into all that and it's just oh it's i it's love very that texture. it's very very pleasing it's nice satisfying mouth feel and it's sweet the peanut butter sweet it's sweet i yeah. really like that peanut salt. butter mm -hmm. yeah, it goes really well with the darker chocolate wafer that's a terrific combination mm -hmm. it, it really color is color. they're a lot it's 310 calories for that that's a lot for a snack it's a whole lot for a snack i think i I wouldn't want to hand that to my kid for a snack. I, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's calories. just me. It's a, yeah, it's a lot. It's, Although I remember coming home from school eating like sandwiches and cookies and stuff. So I mean, you know. <laughs> well, we would eat like a little Debbie snack. Right. And, but those are about 200 calories or so. Right. This is 310. So you just have to, you know, you have to decide. It's a lot of calories, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but it's absolutely it's delicious. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. The, cal the flavor shows the calories. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, these, like I said, I'm sure these have been around forever. Uh, these are the dark chocolate covered cherries. It's a 12 ounce pack, uh, about 11 servings, uh, six pieces. Of course, you'd have to weigh them out. Six pieces are 130 calories. And I wondered if it said where these were a product of because those said grease. May contain pits or pit fragments. Dark chocolate covered cherries. These are just out of uh, Monrovia, California. Okay. Yeah, any cherry. But I was impressed because look at the size of these. I mean, hello, they're, they're huge. Some big cherries. I'm gonna eat this absolutely giant one. Eating that big. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. Nice snappy, kind of like chocolate. It 
And the one I got, I tasted very little cherry. Mm -hmm. You either? Mm -mm. It's all chocolate because the chocolate, chocolate is so dark mm -hmm. that it absolutely kills the cherry flavor. Um, I mean, I mean, it's really dark. It is, but it, there's some sweet there. It's yeah, but when you when I say dark, I mean it's got bitter aftertaste. I'm so impressed with the size of them. Dries your mouth out. I am too. And and there was cherry there. I mean, I got the chewy cherry in the center. Yeah, you get the pieces. But there's so much dark chocolate, and, and the dark chocolate is so bitter and strong that it, you really lose out a lot of the cherry flavor. You get a hint of the cherry, but the cherry's not the number one flavor. Mm. The, the dark chocolate's dark the number chocolate. one flavor. It's not too dark for me. I enjoy it. And as I could eat them. I could not have something like this around in the cabinet all the time. Because I would want to constantly go back, go and, get back. A and it's so easy to open that you're going to be like getting it all the time. I do like it, but the cherry is not no. why you're buying this. No. Honestly, you're buying it for the dark chocolate. Yeah, okay. the cherry just really adds a little texture difference. <laughs> okay, so now a this chewy, a little chewy texture to it. Uh, this is the English toffee. And I think we both are fans of English toffee. Yes, English toffee with milk chocolate. Uh, these are uh, Monrovia, California. It says, uh, how many pieces do you get? Seven servings. One piece is 190 calories. You literally have to weigh this though, because there's oh, no yeah. way. Oh yeah, just like with those cherries. There's no way that. I do not believe for a second that that's 100. Can we get scheduled? Yeah, it's in the door over there. I yeah, they're saying it's awfully big. It is awfully big. Yeah. Um, there's supposed to be seven. I wonder if there are actually seven pieces in here. One, two, three. But they actually do give you seven. You so be, they you do. Be surprised. Yeah, they do think that's going to be 190 calories. Okay, it's um, 34 grams. I'm just going to get this one because it's on the top. Random piece. No, 36. So it's slightly over, but not by much. And they're right. And that's 190 calories for each one of those. That's awesome. So no. that's probably more like 200, but still, it's still right around. I'm, I'm really, um, yeah, that's true because it's 34 grams or 190 calories. You know, I'm really impressed that they're that close. Yeah, that's because pretty good. Because I did not expect, you saw, I did not trust. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's impressive. Well, um, especially when you see it that much. Yeah, it's like you really get that much uh, for 190. Yeah, you do. I'm gonna show the center. The center is where your toffee is. Oh, yum! Hello. And it's covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. What's on the outside? Is there nuts? Or is it more toffee? It looks like almonds. Yeah, it does look like almonds. Mm -hmm. I love that toffee. Believe it or not, I would not get that one again. Oh, why is that? Is it too hard? Mm -hmm. we, we've been spoiled on some of the toffees that are really yes. soft. This is a harder, it's not like brittle though. It's not mm -hmm. that hard. It's about like you would eat a thicker, um, Heath bar or something like that, or a thicker version of that. It's not the it. The flavor's a little different. Mm. It does have a little bit like more vanilla or something in there. It tastes um like they put a lot of vanilla flavoring in there to me. So it is a stronger flavor. I don't mind that though. That's okay. It's it literally has everything to do with the texture. I do not like how it gets stuck in my it teeth. It does get stuck in your teeth. Really, really bad it gets stuck in your teeth. So it's really, it's thick, but we've had others that are... Um, Almost airy. Yeah, and they were just so much easier to eat and to chew, and they didn't get stuck mm -hmm. in your teeth. I that, agree. I do like this though. I mean, if you're if you're Trader Joe's and you want a toffee, oh, yeah. I think this is good. I do think it's good. But compared to other brands, compared to other brands, if you're if you're eating it on its own, if you're one of these Trader Joe's loyalists, and I know there's a lot of them, but if you're buying all your groceries from Trader Joe's, absolutely yes, you could get these. Mm -hmm. Like Kevin said, we've been spoiled about other brands of toffee though that we really thought were superior and that I would rather have those textures and not buy these again. Right. 
It still has a good flavor. Yeah, though. it's still it, good. Yes, it absolutely. It still has a good, um, that burnt sugar toffee flavor. I mean, it still has that. It's, it's just, just it all about hard. the texture. Yeah. Yeah. They, they made them really thick, but you know, that's a good thing. Okay. Let's surprise each other. What, out of these three? Out of these three, which is your favorite? Uh, probably these, the P PB and C. That's mine too, and I'm absolutely shocked. If I had, if you had asked me before this video, oh, what do you think your favorite's gonna be? Well, I would have said they the English some. toffee, hands down. Um, actually, I probably would have guessed this order, but no, it's that PB and C. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, if you get a chance to try any of these, you'll have to let us know. I'll have pictures for you at the end, and thanks for watching.